Hi, I did a project recently where I cut some vinyl words within a word and somebody asked me how I did it. So I thought I'd do a quick video showing you how. On the screen are some others that I've done. You don't have to do a word within a word like this happy birthday. You can use dingbat fonts like I've done here with the dogs. Um, all as I would say is if you're using text, the word that's in the background, so for instance, this word birthday here, it would be a good idea if you used quite a bold type font and, and type your word in capitals. And then for your word that sits here, like on the front, you need a contrast. So, you know, like a script type font or a curly type font and maybe in lowercase. So I'll get rid of that. And I'll show you how I did it. So we're in Inkscape. I'm going to come to the text tool and select it. And I'm going to use impact. So I'm just going to start typing impact and it will choose it for me. I'm going to click once on the page and I'm just going to type the words woof in capital letters. And then I'm going to select it. While it's selected, I'm just going to drag it out and make it a bit bigger. And then with the word selected, I'm going to go path union. I'm going to click anywhere on my page to deselect that word. Come back over here to the text tool. And then I'm going to use a dingbat font for the dogs. And it's called can dog or something. So I'll just start typing and it should hope. There it is. Can dog. TFB. Okay, I'm going to click once on the page and then I'm just going to choose some capital letters to create the dingbat. So I'm going to hold my shift key down and use a, D, a G and then I'm going to click somewhere else on the page and use an H and click somewhere else and use an I. And the reason I'm doing that is because I've used this one here before and I know it's only a small image so I'm just going to bring them in and just line them up roughly for now and you can see the difference in size. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger by holding the control key down and just scaling it up a bit and the same with that one. Okay I'm going to drag an imaginary box around all three and come to the align icon and I'm going to align all the bottom edges so I know they're all in a row and then I can close that down. While they're all selected, I'm going to go path union and that's now made them one group. While they're still selected, I'm going to right click and hit duplicate and that's put a duplicate set directly on top of my originals. You don't have to do this, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to change the top set to red. So I'm just right clicking on this colour red down here and I'm going to choose set fill and I'm going to right click and choose set stroke. So the ones on the top are red and the original ones are underneath in black. Now while these red ones are selected I'm going to go to path, dynamic offset and you'll get one node. I don't know if you can see it on the screen but it's here just above the head of this dog. I'm going to left click on that node and just drag it out just ever so slightly and you'll if you see, look at the screen, you'll see they get bigger. Okay, and then I'm going to use the select icon to select those. So while that set of three there are now bigger, I'm going to drag them up over the word and just position them. And then I'm going to drag an imaginary box around both. And I'm going to go to path difference and when I click off you'll see that this, the, the set that were red have now cut out the shapes for me so it's like having a stamp and it's stamped out those images and the rest of the word is still there behind. So I'm just going to drag an imaginary box around these and I'm going to change these to red now just purely and simply for the video you don't have to do this and then I'm going to drag these into that space. So if this was my vinyl project now, 
just going to go into display outline mode. Yeah, that all looks okay. So if this was my vinyl project now, I would separate these two pieces. I would cut this section, say in black vinyl, and this section in red vinyl, and then I could layer them up onto a project. You can do this with card and paper, but this type of effect normally is done with vinyl. So I'm going to drag an imaginary box around both of those, and I'm just going to group them for now, and I'm going to move them out of the way. So what if you want to do it with words? So we'll do happy birthday. I'm going to type the word birthday. I'm going to go back to impact and click, sorry, I'm going to set, select this and go back to impact. And I'm going to type the word birthday, all in capital letters. And then I'm going to select it. And then I'm just going to drag it out in size for now. And while it's all selected, path union. Then I'm going to come, click off to deselect it. I'm going to come back to my text tool and I'm going to try and find a handwritten type font which I think I've got one called that's it Huntson okay so I'm going to click on the page and I'm going to type happy in lowercase and select it and again just drag it out and make it a bit bigger and while it's selected go to path and union and again just purely and simply for the video I'm going to change it to red so you can see it okay um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to duplicate the birthday and put that up there because I'm going to show you something else in a minute and I'm going to duplicate the happy and put that up there out of the way. So we'll work on this one for now. So again, while the word's selected, right click and duplicate, and that's put a duplicate directly on top, go path, dynamic offset and again you get one node click and drag the node up until the word gets bigger and then use your select icon to select that word bring that up place it on top of the word birthday select them both and go path difference and then bring this one up and slot that one in the spaces I'm just going to drag an imaginary box around both of those and I'm going to go to object and group and I'm just going to resize them just to put them out of the way while I deal with this other one. Okay, so we've got this one which was a duplicate of the other but just to be on the safe side while it's selected I'm going to go to path union and I'm going to select that one and do path union as well because as I've said in previous videos sometimes anything to do with fonts doesn't open in canvas but if you do path union it usually works so we've got that one right we're going to work with the word happy I'm going to right click and hit duplicate and this time I'm just going to bring the duplicate out of the way so we've got one word here and we've got one word here now on this one again I'm going to duplicate this now so again right click and duplicate this time, while the duplicate's selected, I'm going to go to Path, Outset, and the word gets a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go to Path, Outset again, and it's got a bit bigger still. So we've got that one there. Okay, so there are those two. This one, we're going to do the dynamic offset. So while it's selected, we're going to go Path, Dynamic Offset. You get the one node again. I'm going to drag it up. So it's bigger and then select it, bring that over here, put it on the word birthday, select those two and do path difference. Okay. Then this one I'm hoping now will layer up in here still with a little bit of the white border around it and then this one will change to black 
and then that would layer up again on top. In fact, I'm just going to bring it to the top and then hopefully that will layer on there. So that's how you can do three layers. So this one, obviously, you would separate your layers and you could cut two layers of vinyl in black and a layer in red and then you could layer that one up in there so you've got a white border around there and then this one would layer on top. So I hope you found that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and if you have any questions or comments leave them in the box below or contact me through my blog. Obviously you would just save this now as an SVG file and then you would just open that in canvas and download it onto a USB stick and you could cut it in vinyl. Thank you.